Okay, this is 5.2, the results of stress. And uh, so the idea here is that we're going to look at the comparison um, between folding and faulting and what happens in our, our crust. And so the, the idea is what ultimately we're going to do is describe the four types of faults and what happens, right? What happens? So first things first, um, when we have pressure, we're going to have temperature. And when we have temperature, we have pressure. These things are caused by stress. When we put rock under pressure, um, it causes temperature, right? So um, what can happen is either they push and push and push and push, or they snap. And so in the process, if it's enough pressure, we can see what's called folding. And folding is pretty interesting. Um, basically, it's like bending of rock. It's like taking rock to the consistency of toothpaste. So um, when we talk about stressing, uh, there's some, some different ways of doing it, right? So what is the deformation? Well, if we push from both sides, a couple things can happen. You can either bend like this here with this S shape, anticline and syncline, or it can snap and we have uh, basically a fault. An earthquake takes place. Now, if we pull apart, so this is a convergent, converge, come together. Uh, this would be a divergent. And so divergent is kind of a little bit different. In other words, if we pull, pull from both ways, we can either have this area where we have these zones, these rifts, they're called rifts, uh, these drop down, or um, we can have a strain that causes the top to move one way and the bottom to move another. And so um, really, really two basic ways of looking at it. And so when we have a folding, so this would be the convergent, we're coming together, we have this um, sandwiching, if you will, this rippling, pushing together. It's like an accordion, right? And so when the rock is bending upward, it's called an anticline. And when the rock is bending downward, it's called a syncline. And, and uh, I always remember it because uh, if you sin, you're going to go to the devil, right? So um, the, the, the syncline is the pushing together um, and uh, it, the bend is going down. A monocline, basically, um, we see this overlapping, and this is not a good picture of a, a monocline. Uh, but here, here is an anticline. You can see the bend going up. And you usually have a syncline. Look over here in the back, right? So you have a syncline going the same way. Here's a great, great syncline. This picture is in the wrong place. This is a syncline. See how it's going down? Here is a syncline. Look at look at the size of these cars and look at the size of this. Right? So this is a syncline. See this big horseshoe going down. And again, that used to all be flat. Right? What's a fault when we see a break? Right? So um, we we have two different ways of looking at this. Uh, you can have a fracture where it just doesn't move, or you can have the rocks move. And so if it moves, then we're talking about a couple things. The fault plane, where did the movement occur, and which side went up and which side went down. So the hanging wall is the fault. The rock is above the fault plane. That's when it's pushed up. And the foot wall is when it's below. And so here's a good example. We have an earthquake, right? And... So the earthquake has caused this rock to move above, above the fault plane. And so um, the rock below is the football. So this is below the foot plane, uh, or the fault plane, and this rock is above the fault plane.
a normal fault. Basically, we're seeing the hanging wall move down, right? So the hanging wall goes down. The foot wall is maybe not going up, but it is it is a situation where the foot wall is again um, on the underneath of the fault. So that's the foot wall. Makes sense. Which way is the angle going? Here's the bottom. This is the foot. And if we have a fault, it's usually just dropping, right? Makes sense. All right. A reverse fault is when the foot wall is dropping and the hanging wall is going up. Or maybe the foot wall stays the same and the hanging wall goes up. So it's like um, ramming, uh, I don't know, a piece of pizza over the top of another piece of pizza. I just made that up. Right, so um, we see this happening though in the Himalayas because we have this vertical uplift, right? We have this huge vertical uplift. Um, a reverse fault, again, we're seeing here is the fault right here. Here is the foot wall. Here is the hanging fault, hanging wall. It's being pushed up. Here is a blind thrust fault. And what does that mean? So here's the fault, and it's so shallow that it, it, it really doesn't go out of its plane too far. It's almost a nearly horizontal plane. This is a really flat fault, right? And you can see it right here. Um, strike slip, and when I talk about strike slip, basically what it is, it's a parallel, parallel. It's sliding, sliding horizontally. And so you can see the, when these crops were put in, they were put in row, um, and then the fault moved the ground over that much and and uh, a transform transform means to go side by side so the San Andreas fault would be a good example of that so all right uh, that's kind of a overview on stress of faulting uh, thank you so much you guys are awesome and I hope you have a good day